In this video, we're going to take a look at the Pathfinder tools in Adobe Illustrator uh, Creative Cloud 2018. This is uh, not the most current version, but the one um, that we're using on campus right now. Um, to find the Pathfinders, um, first of all, I have this document all set up. We're going to watch a couple things in this document. We're going to watch our layers. Um, I believe that learning to understand your layers is maybe the most important thing you can do in Illustrator. And um, I will actually put this finished document in the comments with this video so that you can access it. Um, we're going to find the, the uh, Pathfinder panel under Window and Pathfinder. Um, that's the easiest place to find it uh, most of the time. Sometimes you'll have it out as a, a panel set. Um, and the Pathfinder icon looks like this, two um, rectangles overlapping with the, the place in the middle. Think about like a square Venn diagram. Um, I'm actually going to pull this set out because I want to have it a little more accessible for our, for our video here. Um, so I already have this document set up. I have shapes uh, set up for us. I have all the layers labeled as to what um, Pathfinder we're going to use. Um, the top set of Pathfinders, I have two shapes. The bottom I have three. Um, and the reason for that is that the, the Pathfinders tend to work um, in similar ways but differently from the shape modes and sometimes we can't see what the difference is unless we have multiple shapes. Um, in one case in particular I'm actually going to have to change the color of the shape in order for you to see what it what the tool does. Um, another thing we may do as we work through this is to toggle between this is preview mode and then outline mode. Command Y or Control Y on your PC is outline mode and that will let us see the outlines of the paths and in some cases that can be really important. Um, so we're going to start by selecting the first two shapes um, and this is the shape mode called Unite and Unite is um, the first set or the first shape mode and what Unite does if we look over here in our um, layers before so I'm going to undo. Before we used the shape mode, we had two shapes. We had an ellipse and a rectangle. Um, when I bind them together, or when using shape mode, is the unite mode is going to make them a single shape. Um, so now you can see we have a single shape, and it is the shape of those two elements together. This can be a really um, e nice tool for making things that feel like complex shapes. Hearts. Um, a heart is just a a square rotated 45 degrees with circles that are the same, have the same diameter as one side placed on either side and then the Unite tool, lickety darn split. Um, minus front, we're going to look at our second set here, minus front, again we have two shapes and minus front works like a cookie cutter. So it's going to use the top shape and get rid of the shape below it just like we cut the cookie out. It would be the remainder of the dough. And so there, there is an example of minus front. There's the remainder shape after we've used like a hole punch or a cookie cutter to get rid of, of that corner. The third one is called intersect. And intersect is going to leave only the part that is overlapping. So in this case, we'll be left with just this section and again just a single shape. So there is intersect. That is a great tool for when you want to make um, a leaf shape. You can overlap those shapes. Make the selection and then intersect and there we have that leaf shape remaining. Go ahead and get rid of that. Um, exclude is going to do the opposite. It's going to leave us in this case with two shapes, the, this piece here and this piece here. Now in this case they're grouped and I want to show you a really um, fantastic tool. This is a relatively new tool. The group selection tool allows you, so typically with our selection tool when I grab the selection it moves the whole group with the group selection tool. The group selection tool lives right under your direct selection tool. It does not have an assigned hotkey, but this tool will allow you to move 
any individual element of a group. So that is what we're left with when we use exclude. So those are our shape modes. Um, now we're going to move on to the bottom set, our pathfinders. The first pathfinder is called divide and it really does slice up all of these pieces. I'm going to go ahead and click divide and you'll notice now we have a group. We went from having individual, we actually have a whole mess of pieces. So let's get our group selection tool and we'll pull these apart so you can see what exactly we have. Each shape is left with whatever the piece, the top piece of that shape was and so that is divide. The next tool is trim and trim is going to do similar to divide but instead of breaking up all the pieces it's going to just get rid of anything that's overlapping from our other um, shapes that we have here. So we'll still have three shapes. Um, the polygon will be, remain unchanged. The pink square will be missing this piece here, this piece here, and this piece here. And our circle will have just, um, just the blue polygon piece cut out of it. So that is trim. And again with our group selection tool I'm able to pull these pieces apart so that you can see the overlap. So that is our trim tool. For the next tool, for you to really understand this next tool, merge, um, I actually am going to need to make one of these shapes a different color and I'm going to make the um, make the polygon pink for this one because I want you to see what happens. The merge tool allows us to take shapes that are the same color and create a single compound path with them. And I'm actually going to add a fourth shape over here just so you get the full gist of it. Let's add a, a green circle. We'll make it that same green. And what's going to happen with the merge tools? We're actually going to end up with two shapes, one here, one here. Um, where, the, where the common colors have combined with one another. So here's our, our merge um, layers. We have two ellipses and two polygons or a polygon and a rectangle. When we click merge we end up with a group. The group has two paths. One is the pink chunk and the other is almost a little ducky. So that is the merge tool. The merge tool is the only one of the Pathfinder tools that the colors um, are of your of your shape are really important because the merge tool does specifically merge colors of the same fill sh fill color. Um, crop is going to work like I'm actually going to rearrange our crop a little bit because I think sometimes this one's easier to think about if we have that rectangle on top. The crop tool is a tool that works like a picture frame and so the crop tool is going to take whatever shape you have on top and it's going to use it um, as a clipping group and show you the things underneath. So when I choose the crop tool here, here's our layer, rectangle on top, the polygon and the ellipse, the only thing we'll be able to see is the this corner of the polygon and this um, corner of our circle and they will show up in the frame of this rectangle. Actually I'm going to move the rectangle in a little bit more so we have a little less white space. And I'm going to go ahead and hit crop and there you can see we have a group. The rectangle we, we have this piece of the um, polygon, this piece of the circle and then the remainder is just that little corner of um, the rectangle. So that is the crop tool. We're almost done. The next tool is called the outline tool and the outline tool is going to work similar to divide only it's going only going to leave lines, line segments. And when we use the, the outline tool 
Um, so I end up with a group. The group has a whole bunch of paths. Something really important to notice though, when I click off of this, you feel like you see it, but it's not really real visible um, because none of these have any weight to the stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the stroke on this up to one point so that as we grab our group selection tool, I'm able to break the lines apart so that you can see what we have going on here. And that we do in fact have all of these little line segments. And so that is the outline tool. And last but not least is our minus back tool. The minus back tool works exactly the opposite of the minus front tool. And so it's going to take away the part in the back, which in this case is the rectangle. And so anything that's overlapping, it leaves us with just the last piece. And so those are our shape modes and pathfinder tools.